Hello again, I'm Trace Leong. It's 855. Happy Friday. Let's check in with Marty Bass to see how the Black Friday weather is turning out. It's not turning out. Look, it's not turning out bad. Having said mm -hmm. that, it's going to be sunny and cold. Okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. Look at this. Got a wind chill right now, 16 degrees. But the wind is beginning to abate. And with sunshine today, it should be an honest 35 degrees overnight tonight. Tad bit milder. 28 will be your low. All right. Trace, take it away. Thank you, Marty. Shoppers are getting ready to head out for some great deals as Black Friday has already started. Avidoy Burnett has more. Even though many stores were closed on Thanksgiving Day, on Thursday, others were open. And this is oh so important, especially for the big box stores that are struggling. But they may have some help. There are many people who will be going out and shopping. The average household is expected to spend more than $1,500 for this holiday shopping season. And you know what? Even though the doors were not open for some stores, for the other folks who came out to shop, they had a ton of fun. Some of the parking lots are a little bit empty. But guess what? They're going to start to pack up, especially the closer we get to Christmas. Ava Joy Burnett for WJZ. In Maryland, this year's medical marijuana sales are surpassing expectations. New Frontier Data is one of the cannabis industry's leading market research firms. It forecasted about $46 million in sales. Now, predictions show sales could top $100 million. The YMCA Turkey Trot is a Baltimore tradition. More than 3,000 runners pushed through the cold in Towson. There are seven YMCA Turkey Trots across the Baltimore area on Thanksgiving Day. $850,000 were raised for the Y. Stay with WJZ News and Weather today at noon. And for updates anytime, go to our website, WJZ.com.